Oh, hello. Tis I, Josh Potter, once again here for the Josh Potter Show. Welcome, one, welcome all. And uh, we got shows this week, friends. Buy your tickets now because they are coming up this week, Thursday night. We will be at Ontario Improv, one show only. And then the next night, co-headlining in Yuma, Arizona with one Chase O'Donnell. It's a little experiment we're doing and it's going to be a great deal of fun if you make it out to the show. So I hope you buy tickets to both those beyond that. On the 6th of October, we have Oxnard Levity Live. All the tickets can be found up on my Instagram bio at Josh underscore Potter on Instagram at J underscore Potter on Twitter. And uh, in the bio, you'll find links to every show that is coming up. And we're having a few more go on sale in the near future. So I'll let you know all about those. Other than that, hit up the Patreon, patreon.com slash the Josh Potter show. It's just five bucks a month and you get an extra pot podcast and there's going to be some other fun stuff as we get cranking on there and with me today a very lovely guest returning here to the roach motel for the second time it's ryan long everybody the roach Welcome. motel That's up, i was more impressed that you were able to remember all your dates by yeah i'm good at the dates yeah i can't really remember other stuff though that's the, the roach motel i'm actually staying at the motel across the street from the comedy club, which is a literal nightclub. That's not a motel that uh, by any means. Hotel. <laughs> That's a beautiful hotel. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I got in there, and this this is like legitimately my room was like, <laughs> oh no shit. Like I couldn't I couldn't even think, and then I went down. And I was like, can I change? I like I was like an old guy. I was like, this music. That's so funny. Is that a control? Yeah. Is it from the roof or is it from downstairs? It's coming at all angles. Oh my but god. I think the actual hotel like has its own club yeah no and, it definitely does and it has a restaurant by wolfgang puck have you eaten there it's really nice oh no it's a nice restaurant this was out of control dude I, I i sat down to try to respond to an email and i couldn't even think <laughs> i was just like the bed was shaking it was like in a fucking movie well let me ask you when you look out your window do you have the view of the city or is it of the comedy store the other way yeah the other way right yeah see there was a time right after pandemic where I think it was like names night, which is like the night of like Mitzi's birthday or whatever, where they put up the new names. And it was like the first one they had since pandemic. Names night. And uh, they, that's what they call <laughs> names it. Names yeah. night. And so uh, we're all, everyone's sitting on the patio, like a whole bunch, like the bazillion comics are out there and it's mostly comics. It's not even like regular people. And uh, up in those windows, there were people fucking and they definitely knew, <laughs> they knew they were putting on a show. Let's just put yeah. it that way. They had, they were like up against the window. They knew we were all watching and like cheering. Everyone's just sitting on the patio like it's porn. You ever, were you, you guys were watching it? My People were watching it, but I, here's the thing what I, and I kept saying this that night, I kept going like, we can look at porn on our phones. Yeah, but that's better. Sure, but it's like I couldn't s maybe because I'm blind. I Listen, was like, they're putting all that effort in for you. Least you could do is take a peek. Sure, of course. But everyone's like, oh my God. And people were like, it was like they were, I don't know. It was like people were changed. <laughs> a buddy of mine used to have a telescope. That... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why isn't it pointed at the stars it's pointed level with you <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. at the right time you said the telescope used to catch some wacky stuff <laughs> yeah i bet his, his chick would get mad dude she's like you can't keep telescoping people's windows <laughs> you're, not, you're not even like faking like you're looking at the sky that is and he's like not you know like <laughs> he's a pretty like, cool guy or whatever but he's yeah. a very uh, quick, like short path to being like, yo, am I the like creepy telescope guy? That's like, <laughs> it's a quick A to B from being, I just have a telescope to being the that telescope. Leave guy. me alone when I'm telescoping. <laughs> I'm gonna be in my room telescoping, bird watching. That's what uh, uh Marty McFly's dad, whatever, yeah. he used to do. <laughs> no, his girlfriend's was... like, it's our anniversary. You want to have sex? He's like, kind of just telescoped earlier, so <laughs> we're gonna have to wait for an hour. <laughs> I had a real good afternoon telescoping. Yeah, I kind of a big telescope sesh. So <laughs> the sun's not out. even down. <laughs> the sun isn't even down yet. What are you looking at? <laughs> oh my lord! I can't. I I uh. I think I have to look in a telescope if I were to try <laughs> any sort of distancey yeah. thing. Like, I can't do binoculars. No, you have to do a telescope. Just yeah. like read a book. I think telescopes. I think 
binoculars would just be a telescope for me having one eye <laughs> like you know what i mean it's like just one side yeah but you could that you'd have a alibi too right right yeah 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 if i if anyone was like were you peeping i'd be like what <laughs> you're, you're walking around with binoculars i was trying to read to a head? stop sign <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah a, 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 pardon my disability yeah I mean, uh sir i was trying to read what street i was on a little bit you know yeah a little bit disabled phobic <laughs> of you anyways could you move there's a girl's rack i'm trying to see yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyways, you're covering the jugs. I did. I I've said this a couple of times on this podcast. It is probably my most scumbaggiest move. Back in college, I would use my eyes to see tits. Oh, what do you mean? Like you you would act like you? No, were, I would what's say the technique. Uh, well, I would say to a girl like we'd be at a party, and I'd be like, "Yeah, someday. can I just check if these eyes are working? Would you mind popping the tits out?" I mean, not all wrong on that, but I'd be like. You know, I am going to go blind someday. I hope I get to see tits as great as yours. And they would be like, you can see mine. You go, I, the doctor told me the eyes, I only have three or four more <laughs> yeah. days left. And Boy, I hope I don't forget what tits look like. Yeah, if you want to <laughs> donate to the cause. Yeah. Yo, Dude, that's great. So many girls would do it. They'd be like, you can look at mine. See? And they'd put them like in your face and on your face and shit. It was fun. And you're like... Also, uh, the feeling in my hands is yeah, yeah. also, <laughs> I've been notified, will also be disintegrating. I need to start associating <laughs> what I see now with touch. That way, when I do go blind, I'll know what I'm touching. Crazy thing, I also <laughs> just got a, a text from the doctor that said the dick's probably on its last days, too. <laughs> yeah, I do need to feel and look at my dick going into a vagina before I go blind. I, I don't know. The doctor said. Yeah. Not, I don't know why. I'm not here. What are you, a science denier? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fauci said that I need to. And then but, you're just doing like a super somber motorboat. You're like, you know, it's probably the last one I'll ever get to do. It's with my <laughs> tears. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're, you're, you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your service. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Yeah, that's basically what I would say to them at the end of the day. <laughs> but we have a breaking story that I'm so happy that you're here for because mm -hmm. I feel like you'll be on the same page as me. If not, maybe shed some light onto what uh, could have been done better. But let's get into the news. It's a breaking story. Top of the news today. Top story in the news uh, right now. It's been all over the internet. It's memed to death. It is Adam Levine's indiscretion and text messages. Now, I don't really, I'm neither, you know, whatever. He, a rock star cheated on his wife? Ooh, do tell. I mean, like, what are we talking about mm -hmm. here? Led Zeppelin put mud sharks inside of girls. I mean, what do we, Adam Levine just sliding into some DMs. Don't you think DMs at the end of the day are ruined? Like, no one's surprised by Adam Levine cheating on his wife, right? I mean, no. Right. But it's now it's all splayed out. Like if this was in the 80s or 90s, he would have just cheated on his wife and it would have just been dust in the wind. You could have got away with it. Yeah. It could. And even if he didn't get away with it, it would be handled in his personal life. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's how I feel like all these other like, you know, name them. Well, this is the thing. The, the problem with this whole thing is so Adam Levine, obviously one of the greatest musical uh, geniuses of our generation. Of course. And obviously a part of his genius comes from, you know, getting a little side sniz. Mm -hmm. And if they're now blowing up his spot, he's not going to be able to send his sexy DMs anymore. Right. Which means he's not going to be able to get his side sniz potentially, which means we might not get another um, won't go home without you, for example. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what's funny? And I, I personally don't want to live in that world. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to think of Maroon 5 songs and I can only think of. This love, this has love was the big one. It's told. That's like the first one, right? Moves like Jagger. Moves like Jagger. Come back, baby, tonight. <laughs> um, uh, so to me, that's the biggest travesty right now. It's sure. like we're we're all laughing, but in a year from now, when we're all like, you know, music just hasn't been the same, and you go, yeah, because you killed the modern music industry. You killed his mojo because by ruining one of the greatest geniuses of our generation. Kirsten, are you a Maroon Five person? Um, I mean, I don't have anything against it, but I just feel like those are the songs that get ruined by the radio really fast. Yeah, that's true. I, well, I, don't, I don't think they play them enough. And by ruined by the radio, you just mean they're so wildly popular, they have to play them once an hour. We call that the burn effect in radio. And uh, in fact, it was based off of, you remember Nickelback, obviously, your the back. Can Canadian band. Uh, but they uh, 
their song How You Remind Me, it was the most burned song in the history of radio. Yeah. Because it was on every format, once an hour, it was the most popular thing. It's and on I my feel iPad like, once every 10 minutes. Oh, dude, yeah, it's still... It's, <laughs> it's still a great song. ...played in my apartment daily. <laughs> yeah, yeah, But yeah. Uh, Maroon 5 had that fact. Telescoping music. Get, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I telescope to. Some Nickelback and some telescopes. Oh, boy. But, you know, uh, I wanted to ask because, like, did, I didn't know if you thought Ad, uh, Adam Levine might be in the top echelon of attractive male rock stars or do you consider him even a sexual object at this point um not really like my type not your type no he's too like he's, he's too, too clean hot and nice <laughs> i need someone who's just kind of like dirty and grungy <laughs> oh okay yeah his yeah. tattoos do look like very hey can you just give me like it looks like you went in and they did them all at once at he the has very just least. the word california across the california summer. tattoos great <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> Like, I always think, like, I do want, I, I like the idea of tattoos. I'm just not creative or unique enough to think of what I would want as That's a tattoo. Issue, yeah. And so I don't know what I would want permanently on my body uh, at all. You know what I'm I saying? I mean, I would, pro I have, my back piece right now is just the lyrics to This Love, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a better tattoo than anything Adam Levine has. Like, he should just get his lyrics tattooed on his body. You know what my favorite part about, guys? And it's kind of what she's saying that, Adam Levine, like their music is, you know, maybe the like softest girl music ever, right? Sure, yeah. But he he's cultivated quite the like rock star look and energy, right? It's and a then, girl rock star. It's a girl rock star. And then on top of that, they're all a little urban. Mm -hmm. So I actually saw them once uh, in Toronto. It was at like a, a big festival thing. And guys like him, I don't know when it started, but they talk like rappers on stage, right? So between the songs, he's very, how y'all doing tonight? He's code speaking. He, yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> he talks like the way that like Drake would talk, right? He's like, weird. Y'all put your hands up. Who's having a good time tonight? Like it's very that. And then it's like, all right, y'all ready for another one? Give me a shout if you're ready. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Come back, baby, tonight. I wanna get it in the other night. And he was yo, like, yo, yo, you heard this shit in the <laughs> Hollister? Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like the you know the DJs in like the small towns. Yeah. That, that they have to play the like crappy music. Oh yeah, yeah the you know y'all we playing nothing but the hits. You know rr, rr, rr. now here's another one from rr, 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 rr. Taylor Swift. <laughs> like they they gotta play the top forty stuff. But. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's. I mean, I don't really understand. I thought I when they first came out, I was like, oh, it's like Coldplay or whatever. It's that mm -hmm. type of band where it's like chicks like it, and it's like soft or whatever. It's gonna be played on the hot AC station or whatever. And then this guy's got all these tats and shit, and he's like in the middle of the Super Bowl halftime show, like shirtless. And I'm like, oh, okay. He fancies himself a Mick Jagger guy. Yes, exactly. And he even he's like, ooh, moves like Jagger, right? That's his song. That's it. Yeah. Now, does he have a solo project as well? I hope so. He's not just Maroon. I mean, 5. he might have a solo relationship project coming up right yeah, now. Yeah, he's. I mean, we're looking at his solo project at the moment. <laughs> We don't need to, to figure it out here. I want to go back to the sext messages because here's the thing where he's getting dragged on the internet and like, you know, everyone's having a little bit of fun, but there's a lot of people out there that are like in this and I grabbed this tweet in particular. It says Adam Levine drama is boring, but finding out he sexts like he's 17 and hasn't fucked is funny, but his sexts are just innocuous it's like i dare you to find me somebody with like who has who's like the keats of sex like you know what i'm saying like who's out there writing romance novels do you know what i mean like his sex are just an, like innocuous and boring oh i'm sure that everyone trashing him's not doing much better but that is pretty funny where he goes you're 50 times hotter in person and so am i <laughs> that's I mean, I never even seen that before see i never saw that one either Wait. that's crazy and Let's so pull that I? one up grab that one like the unreal how hot you are stuff is funny but also right. i'm sure a million guys say shit like that exactly but you're 50 times hotter in person and so am i <laughs> that's funny i didn't that even notice crazy. that one crazy it's truly unreal how fucking hot you are. See, like guys say that shit all it blows my mind. That's like someone who was like, that's like white guy 101. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. But my point, like, it's like I want this girl who wrote this tweet to show me like the crazy awesome sexts that she got. Like, nobody, when you send a sext, it's not to be read again. It by the way, if you're Adam Levine and you're famous. He can't. You need to know that you're on vanish mode. Come on. 
Voice that's true too. Like, vanish you know, mode. I forgot about vanish yo, mode. That's vanish so funny. mode yeah. is like straight up for the that's for the top G's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're doing vanish mode, it's a very brash. Like if you're just some guy who's in vanish mode, <laughs> it is a yeah. bold move where yeah. a girl's like, "Hey, how are you doing?" And you switch it immediately to vanish. <laughs> mode. Like we're going to the other room. That's like the equivalent of like locking the door behind you. <laughs> Yo, vanish mode is fucking. Yo, nothing. Yeah, there's no way you're like on fan messages. There's no way you're going to vanish mode to be like, thanks for coming to the show. <laughs> I just want to turn every text thing and DMs to vanish mode just to freak someone out for a second. Because <laughs> it is like the equivalent of like that Dahmer scene where he walks in his room and the guy's like, it smells weird in here. And he's like, skadoosh. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Yeah, putting your mom in vanish mode. Like, You're like, hey, love the show. Skadoosh. <laughs> Skadoosh. You are in vanish mode. <laughs> oh, oh, hi. Hey, you do. Oh, hello. Uh, hello? Where are we now? <laughs> yeah, this is the alternate Do you ever universe. accidentally This is the you... alternate universe where I can't be, you can't get me in trouble. <laughs> I Now, I've never operated in vanish mode. Does it just disappear? I'm in the mode. <laughs> Does it disappear like um, that immediately? Oh yeah, they're gone, dude. You can't. Is it like Snapchat though? Where I they mean, they can... can still take a screenshot, probably, or maybe right. they can't. Maybe some of those things are set up that you can't take a screenshot. That was like one. That's Vanish Mode was definitely one like rogue uh, programmer at Instagram. <laughs> you know what we need? <laughs> it was, yeah, he was just for the dudes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a guy who's like, hear me out, because they do have a lot of features at these places that are very like you know how they'll have features where. I'm sure people have made this point, but like, you know, if you're watching something and then you close your computer or phone and then you open it up again and it starts playing again, like, like any dude could tell you like why that's bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, like yeah. that is that's strictly like the girl, pro, like the girls at Google or whatever doing it <laughs> or Apple, and then one and then being like one guy being like, I don't think this is a good idea, and she's like, why? And you're like, why? Uh, I, nothing. <laughs> that's like, funny. There's a few of those kind of things, right? The girls at Google are <laughs> laying mines in the fucking yeah. computers, <laughs> or or when it was, yeah, they they had like they used to put people's like history in your like top sites and the thing like who would ever want oh my that? god like, no all that stuff my so, phone still does that i'm I like hate what are it, you yeah. doing to me pal? what are you what are you doing to me you you're think, my guy what are you, you doing? you can't open your phone up ever no i said if the the next relation i haven't been in a relationship since i moved here and now i'm like 36 i was like 31 when i moved here so it's like a, a lifetime and if i get a girlfriend i have to throw this in the ocean and like start a new identity. I mean, I can't, the cloud, I, I remember like I got this phone. It's relatively new. You know, I just found out Apple put out the 14 now and I'm like pissed off because I just bought this one when they had the commercials for this one. And I was psyched and I bought it and I plug it in, you know, I turn it on. All of my skeletons are in this phone. Now. I hate that. Dude, I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, you thought you got away from yeah, it. Yeah, I'm like, oh good, I can dump this phone. And now I start fresh and it's like, nope. Everything just follows you now. It's, so. li it's literally like moving into a new house in a new neighborhood and you get there and the same mouse is in the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the same clutter that what you had that? in the attic. I, I do, though, like, I feel like I need to, like, change my identity just to get a new cloud or something once I once I get a, a girlfriend. Because otherwise, I mean, I'm going to look make Adam Levine look like fucking... <laughs> Romeo over here with these fucking things. Are there I, other? Texts? I'm more of a nagging. Uh, uh, mine would be like, it's truly unreal how fucking average you are. That's so <laughs> funny. I wish I had that bone in my body. I am such a pick me boy that I I'm fucking. I am such a pick me boy where I'm, I'm. I would be like this. I'd be like, fuck <laughs> with the K's. Done that. I've done that a thousand times. The I like reaction. The booty. I may need to see the booty. Never said it quite like that, but the fuck thing, like once I'm sure he's reacting to a, a photo there. That's the thing. Did you ever we don't just send see... like a single nice? <laughs> oh, I believe nice. so, yeah. Nice. I, nice is more like for when That's a little creepy. Because well, nice is like here's the thing with nice to me. I've sent it in uh one where I don't care about the person who's like if they're sending me stuff, I don't want to be mean, mm -hmm. but I'm not like into it. Sending so, nice back to like some titty pics. Nice yeah. with like Girl a sends thumbs you tits up. And you yeah. just go nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of like they're you like put her oh, in vanish shit. mode just to say nice. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any other ones of these? I because I that one was a surprise. I may need to see the booty. Those today. are the only two on this. Uh, on this text. On this, yeah. On this, I'm more of a show, show Bob's guy. <laughs> show your Bob's. <laughs> Show your bobs. It's the fucking. That's the thing. That the lack of typos is nice. I mean, I've definitely screwed that up a couple times where I've had to do the old little asterisks with what I meant to say just to put it in there. Are you finding more texts? I'm going to see if there's some more. 
Oh, please do. But like I said, none of, I mean, what did we want? What do people want out of this? That's what I don't understand. You know what I mean? Like, what could he have sexted that would have been so impressive or so like, these are good sexts? I don't think, I don't think anybody would read back a sext that they've ever sent and gone like, I nailed it. You know what I'm saying? Like they're never, they're not supposed to be read and they're after also, the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're 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 on a specific energy, and you right. remove that. I mean, just like anything anyone says during sex or anything like that. What but. does it say? Rub one out. <laughs> what was that about? Well, you got a nice here. He says, "Ugh." She says, "Just in time." I go to Mexico this weekend. Ha ha. He says, "Nice." I need to go rub one out. Then my head will be clear. <laughs> I mean, I often, he's not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I often think about you when you used to get me into that place where I literally would stare and drool and do whatever you told me. Ha ha. Delete this immediately. Ha ha. It's the ha ha's that she ruin did. it for me. Uh, she it's did. tough to it's tough to ha ha your way through that. That's for sure. You either got to go one way or the other. It's not very. You're not joking. I I throw ha ha's in. I I do I'm too. Like, nervous ha ha. Yeah, and then I'm gonna. Th- I'm an LOL guy too. I'm like, am I LOLing? No, but I'm writing it because yeah. it's just to break the tension. But I'm gonna come to your house and then throw you on the bed, lol. And then I'm gonna LOL. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, then uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take whipped cream, put it all over your body, ha ha. See, then, I'm not <laughs> even that creative either, and I don't think he is either. And that's fu- like, it's when you're like you said in that moment. It's not meant to be like reread again at any point. And I'm glad we have a little bit of context with her here because I was wondering with those other ones where he's like, you need to see the booty. Why do they they isolate his sexts and they get rid of hers? Ooh, what's this one? This, this is the oh, same. this is the same one. What's but it say at the bottom there? The, I'll tell you what uh, my take on this. Like, I, I guess you could also be like, oh, whatever. You know, yeah, like rock star cheating or whatever. But sure. also other take is like, Never trust any woman. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, did we need this experience to have that theory? I mean... <laughs> Yo, if you... Like, you do almost have to think of it like, hey, if I'm talking to people on the internet, like, it could be on the New York Times tomorrow. Like, you sure. have to sort of live like that, I guess, now. And that's the funny thing about being so epically single is I I don't care. Like, that's... Like, if uh, I... I if someone exposed I don't, you, I don't need to be, be like, in, yeah yeah exactly I'd be like and yeah ex- it's like so yeah guilty of trying to like yeah I'm with you exactly yeah and it's like read I'll have I have some sexts from you too lady you know what I mean like I'll, I'll put those on blast too if you really if you really want what are these now watching what? your well these I, are a lot of Adam on his side do you think she deleted before this all very this, this is a different chick. Oh, this is a different there are, uh, there are additional chicks that are coming out of the woodwork. Oh, do tell. So what's he writing to this broad? Watching your, I assume that's ass, although it's... Uh, blurred out. Blurred out. I think Watch- it's pussy. No, oh, I'm just kidding. possibly. It's not. No, it's ass. Watching your ass jiggle on that table will permanently scar me, but otherwise I'm amazing. That's not a good... It'll permanently scar me? This doesn't sound like a sext. A lot and- of Adam, though, there. See with all the hearts down there? But I want, like I said, I think there were probably things in between that she was like, delete, 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 and then did a convenient screen grab. It does seem like that. But also this one's, yeah, pretty funny where he's just like, anyways, I want to smash you so bad. Also probably getting some news tattoos, thinking about getting a cloud. <laughs> like just the transition. Is that it. what it says? See, I can't read from here, these ones. So <laughs> he's transition, it goes, Nate may come to Maui and tattoo me and surf. I need to put some clouds behind the Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> See that these are these are out of context. Like this guy rules. <laughs> they should have stuff in between there that's of this lady. And then the part that also had people uh, shock and awed, I suppose, was the fact that he wanted to name his newborn after the woman. That was stupid. That was a silly move. What are you doing, buddy? But it was a boy, so he's like, "Oh, I can get away with this. We're gonna name the boy." But that's almost even more now that I think of it. That's kind of a gross move. Other than that, he rules. But. Sumner was the woman's <laughs> name. What a strange name! Isn't Sumner the name of like a media conglomerate? Like it's like a guy who, uh, like almost like uh, fucking who's the dude that like Murdoch that owns Fox News? There's Sumner Redstone. That's a guy. Type that guy in, because that's what I think of when I think of that name. I never would have thought it was a woman's name. What did Sumner Redstone do? Look at this old bag. This is like, you want to name your kid after this guy? Sumner Redstone was what? 
American billionaire businessman and media magnate. He was the founder and chairman of the second incarnation of Viacom. Viacom, that's what it was. Yeah, he ran like MTV and shit. Um, yeah, so when I heard that name, I'm like, Sumner? You mean like the old man? But uh, apparently it's this broad's name too, and uh, he wanted to name... That was a weird move, though. That's, was, that's how he gets caught. Yeah, that, that was... Uh, that was her name, Sumner. Crazy move. Apparently he was scot-free on that one too, because it was from like years ago, and then he... Yeah. Hit her back up. He was he was out of the fucking woods on that He's one. He's sitting there. They're like, "What should we name our kid?" And he's like, "Oh, I got a name. <clears throat> this one's been rall- rolling around in my brain for years. Yeah. This name Sumner." And the wife's like, "Oh, okay, that sounds cool." And then this comes out, and it's like, "Huh? Where'd you get that fucking name? It's too much. That's it's not like it's like Alyssa move. or something, you know?" So what happened? What are, are they? Is he still with the wife? Or yes, they've come out and they've spoken and they said like, you know. We're working through this, the whole, like, give us space or whatever, yada, yada, yada. I thought it was funny. Adam Dude. Devine was, like, putting out tweets like he was like, my marriage is fine because <laughs> people uh, were tagging him on accident uh, or whatever. Uh, I didn't know Adam Devine was married. Yeah, he's going to have to basically do a Tiger Woods, but, like, go to, like, sex Sextaholics Anonymous. Like, th- that's the next thing is you're going to have all these celebrities have to go in and be like, I can't stop sexting. I have a problem. When you're a rock a rock star like Adam Levine, though, it's like it just comes with the territory. It's like dating an NBA player. I feel like you're just it's gonna. It's happen. very possible that she he has a sort of deal where she kind of like no, yeah, she like she out, outwardly because they want to be wholesome so he can keep sure. being on his TV shows and stuff like that. Right, but in the like in real life, she might be like, duh, like of course, yeah, she's like my life's sweet. I fuck a pool boy every now and again. Yeah, he does what he does on the road. You know, it's like a Hillary, a Bill and Hillary situation. You know, they got mm-hmm. a deal going on. Yeah, she, you know, bangs the pool boys. <laughs> yeah, whatever she wants to do, whoever she wants to bang, she bangs the other dude in Maroon Five, who's not getting any uh, pussy. But I thought that was an interesting. What is this now? <clears throat> Just found one where a woman is actually responding to him, and she has like a I, these things. Is that like an emoji or what do they call those? Like where they're. It's like the guy's giving a thumbs up. My parents are using those a lot. Oh, my God. Where they're like, she goes, I'm so weird. I only listen to metal. Said no hot chicks ever other than you. LMAO. So Adam Levine's trying to pick her up and she's like, I'm sort of a metal girl. And he's like, we're actually probably even harder than metal if you think about it. (laughs) That's why he he's like I'd be metal, but there's no pussy in it. Uh-huh. That's what he basically yeah. is. Like. But that's I mean, metal girls lost their minds about this one. I do remember hearing about this one in the uh, Twitter sphere because all the metal chicks are like, "What do you fucking mean?" You know, the tatted up suicide girl types were all like, "This isn't hot. You don't want this." That oh, they were thing. mad that Adam Levine saying he wouldn't smash the yeah, saying there were no hot metal girls. <laughs> but we all know that there are. And I'm sure Adam Levine was just saying that in order to stoke the fire within that woman. I also think it's this girl was lying that she says she's not a big fan of Maroon 5. I can't imagine anyone being in that scenario. She thought Maroon 5 was metal. That's why she brought it up, as a matter of fact. I think Maroon 5. This love has taken us to Dude, that would be dope if there was some... You know what? Now I'm coming... This is coming to my head. Who's a trigger? (laughs) Maroon 5 was one of those bands... That when they first came out, they were putting their music through a machine to like find the optimum speed and everything like that, so that it was would be a radio hit. Really? There was like a, a software. What machine? I don't know. It was some sort of software. I don't know. See if you can figure that out at some point. One of you guys, a uh, see if you can Google that. I remember reading an article where it was like their producer would put it through software to see like, oh, we have to make it this tempo or whatever to make it like more of a hit. What were the factors that the machine was? It would do tempo. Basing. It would be like no, but what was where the basing the hook, that on? I don't know. Like just uh, AI stuff. I, I I don't remember what the what the deal was. Like they would say they take all the radio hits and be, they find like some core. They go. They're all this speed. They're yeah, all yeah. This like the best tempo. ones are this speed. They the hook hits at this time. They're stuff all in like this that. frequency range. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. They're all this amount of compressed. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm out of my mind, but I could have swore. Maybe that was like a conspiracy because there were so more, many radio hits. You know what it more sounds like? A producer 
that's selling bands on the fact that he has this secret machine, like <laughs> Wizard of Oz style. <laughs> and he's like, I can't tell anyone from the machine. And he goes, where is it? He goes, he's under, he just has a laptop. He's under like a blanket in the back room. And just, <laughs> Oh, the machine's just doing its thing. And it's like, he comes out. He's like, all right, so we need to speed it up uh, one, one beat per minute. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a million dollars. Well, if you see anything about that, do pipe, pipe in, machine. let me know. But I want to get to this story because this one uh, was sent in by a Roach reporter out there. Roach reporter. That's right. This one about a, a gun being fired in a Chuck E. Cheese. This is, gets wild. Now, it already sounds wild because a gun got fired in Chuck E. Cheese. But um, listen to this. Uh, according to a release from the sheriff's office, deputies responded to multiple calls reporting shots fired at the Chuck E. Cheese on West Brandon Boulevard. This is, uh, I don't remember where this happened exactly, but it, it is, it does not matter. Uh, the sheriff's, sheriff's office said on a woman, what do we got here? Is this about the, oh, yeah, you have the article. It's in Brandon, Brandon, Florida. In Florida, that's right. That's why it was of note. A private security guard was trying to get the crowd to take a fight outside. So there was already a fight in the Chuck E. Cheese, which happens at Chuck E. Cheese's all over this great country. There's always a fight. And I don't know why there are fights. Maybe like one kid's like cuts another kid in line. So the parents have to get involved and fight each other. But uh, evidently there was a fight that the security guard was trying to shuffle outside and then a woman pulled out a gun inside the vestibule of the Chuck E. Cheese. Now, this might be it. This must be an opulent Chuck E. Cheese that it has a vestibule. You mean like the hallway to get in? Uh, the guard tried to get the gun away from her, but she dropped it outside the building. The sheriff's office said another woman then picked up the gun and fired at least one shot into the air. Then she lost possession of the gun, and a third woman picked it up and placed it inside a light gray Chevrolet Traverse. Uh, HCSO said all three women were taken into custody and no shooting victims were located. A man involved in the altercation was also taken into custody. The sheriff's office said a white Audi crashed into the front of the building while the group was fighting. What a fucking melee. So this group's all fighting, a gun's being bandied about, and then some Audi just drives into the building. It's mayhem. Mayhem at Chuck E. Cheese. You ever seen a fight like that in real life? Never in my life, other than on YouTube or like World Star or something. Have you seen one play out in your front of your very eyes? The, the, in there's this place called Brampton, uh, like kind of where I used to live, where they would legitimately have these huge like brawls, and guys would have like swords and like all that kind of sh like crazy. Brampton, that's I mean, in Ontario. It'll always be on the news. Yeah. Oh, wild! I've seen some banger. I was I've seen some bangers after bars and stuff, mm -hmm. but never with. Guns and all that this is like in the daytime, you know. It's a, it's in Chuck E. Cheese, so it's like pouring out into the street in the daytime. What was the fight over again? That's the thing. Like they don't necessarily say, but the sheriff's office Tickets? said uh, the white. Uh, that's what I. That's what I would venture to guess. I was, you took the last parachute uh, guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has the he has the last bouncy ball, but or or like they cut a kid in line or stole his tokens or something. I I don't fucking know. That's what I'm curious about. I'm grateful nobody was seriously injured as a result of this incident, says the sheriff. Thanks to the swift and considerable response from our deputies, we have been able to quickly track down those responsible and take them into custody. While the investigation continues into what led up to today's events, uh, then Chuck E. Cheese made a statement. We are aware of the incident that occurred. At our Brandon, Florida location, where a vehicle crashed into our storefront, we want to assure our guests that we take great measures to protect the experience of children and families in our venues. The safety of our guests and employees is our number one priority. Blah, 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 blah. They, I've seen Chuck E. Cheese places where they have metal detectors so that you can't bring in your gun. Perhaps maybe they need to get one in brandon florida it is it's it's a place called brandon florida they must be having fun with the name of that town yeah let's go brandon Florida. yeah let's go brandon like they probably got signs and everything and they <laughs> welcome that there in florida they're like yes please fuck joe biden it doesn't say what caused it though I, that's what i was theorizing what could have caused it you know i mean how important is the prizes at chuck e cheese when you think about it as a little kid you're like this is crazy like i have to get 10,000 tickets to get that giant stuffed animal or whatever it is. Yeah, the, the you biggest have to play thing. for like three weeks to get <laughs> Yeah, but then you're like, gum. or I, if you have 10 bucks, you can just give them that. <laughs> yeah. You don't think of that when you're a kid. You're like, this is impossible. I'm never going to amount to that amount of tickets in my life. 
But yeah, you can just buy a whatever it is, the coolest thing in there for like 20 bucks. That's what I would do for my kid. I would blow his mind. Yeah, you <laughs> you go in, buy it earlier, and then when he goes to the bathroom, trade in the tickets. Yeah, or I would be like, yo, I'd tell the guys in the back, I'm going to buy this. Give me like, a, make it look like I won. Mm-hmm. Give me like a fucking grip of tickets so that I can sh- yeah 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 so I can show my fucking kid that I that I love him <laughs> that's what I would play it as you don't have kids right yeah <laughs> do you want kids sometimes I go to Chuck E. Cheese and just pl- hang around with some of the ones there <laughs> you call that a shot hey, you know kid. what's funny I remember like you being... play some air hockey with the, with the real man <laughs> yeah You've never played air hockey like this before. <laughs> you know what's funny? I remember being of the age of going to Chuck E. Cheese, and I thought it was the worst. Really? I hated it. Like, I, I thought, I'm like, these fucking, I want to go play video games at my house. You didn't want to be at this loser Yeah, look at these kids all party. smell like piss, and like, they're playing in the balls and shit. This and guy like, just high-fived me, sticky. Yeah! I was like, they all fucking, they got like... That fucking uh, like juice around their mouths, like a bunch of window liquors. I hated everything about Chuck E. Cheese when I was a kid. But I was like, I'll just go play Nintendo at my house. It's much better than this fucking shit anyways. The only thing that's sick there is the basketball game. That was cool. And Basketball game's the only... That's a, that's a man's sport right yes, there. Yes, I liked the practical, like ones with the big guns or whatever. That was fun. Um, also, by the way, underrated Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Oh, yeah. Like when I was in college, we would Forgot go that. pick up a, because our, our, my first apartment was like right around the corner. We would be like, let's go get a pizza from Chuck E. Cheese. And then we'd bring it home. Do you know what I do? <laughs> do you know what I do often these days is when I'm walking back from my studio, I stop into the movie theater and just get a bag of popcorn. Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. And There's then, nothing like movie theater popcorn. Yeah. I just straight up walk because the concessions is on the ground level. Too. Sure. So I walk in, buy popcorn, and then just keep walking. <laughs> that's it's so like, funny. <laughs> Do they ever check your ticket or something like that? I, don't, I think you're allowed to buy yeah, popcorn. Yeah, yeah, I don't I'm think sure, I'm yeah. breaking any law. I didn't know because some. Yeah, yeah. I'm being all sneaky about it. And they're like, sir, like, you're allowed to do this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sir, you don't need a trench coat to buy popcorn. I'm on the phone, like, yeah, just about to see top. <laughs> Guns. So, oh yeah. They're like, sir, we know you don't have a ticket, but also You're this is okay. You're looking up the show times before you walk in. Yes, the four oh five. That's what I will be at. Yeah. <laughs> well, you are a, a man from Canada. We mentioned that already. Did you hear about this Canadian actor who killed his mother? Is an actor? What's his name? His Chris name Chan? is uh, Ryan Gratham. <laughs> what was? It? What did you say? Is it? Chris Chan. Chris Chan. Who's that? <laughs> is longer. that a Canadian guy? No, it's this like internet guy. That's the long story. <laughs> wacky guy. I don't know shit about had shit. sex with his mother and some shit like that. Well, this guy, I mean, this could very well rival it. He was uh, from a diary Riverdale. of a wimpy kid. He was in Riverdale. He was in Supernatural. Which, by the way, that was a pr- big blow to the redhead community that they made Archie not have red hair. Yeah, what the fuck, dude? Isn't that crazy? I thought that was fucked up. It's like I, not that many big redhead representations. You know what I mean? Right. It's like him and Ralph Mouth. Yeah, a bit much fucking, to take that away from them. Yeah. That was a Happy Days reference for the children out there. But yeah, this kid, uh, you know, um, I rem- I don't remember Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Did you uh, Did you see that movie, Kirsten? No. I, I thought that would be one that you'd see. Well, I will say that, I, like, you shouldn't murder your mother, but this do- is sending a message to mothers that they've been getting a little out of hand lately. And someone, someone had to step up and <laughs> be like, "Listen, mothers, just take take it easy, mothers." Someone's got to put the mothers back in their place. It's it's just sending a little bit of a message to mothers to you know you got a little too wild with all of this COVID rules, mothers. Uh, it's t- time to take it easy a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is from T Bone who sent this bad boy in, and I I never heard of this gentleman. I've heard of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but I don't I don't know any context of that movie. That's why I thought maybe you might have been up your alley, Kirsten. No. Why, why yeah, no, I've never seen the movie. I mean, I read the books when I was. You in read the books. So, what school. is it about? Um, just an awkward kid going through elementary, I believe. I mean, and the, so he played the the wimpy kid, and now he was like, "I'll show you who's fucking wimpy," and he fucking shot his mother. In March of 2020, the actor shot his mom Barbara in the back of the head with a 22 rifle while she played piano in their home in Squamish, British Columbia. Am I saying that correctly? 
yeah. Squamish. As shown in court, uh, Grantham then took uh, a GoPro video shortly after the murder in which he confesses to killing his mother and shows her body. The following day, he covered the body with a sheet, surrounded it with lit candles, and hung a rosary from the piano before driving east to Ottawa in a car packed with guns, ammunition, and Molotov cocktails. And he was going to go to kill Trudeau, right? That's right. Okay, I didn't know this. And he failed. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, Trudeau has all that black face paint, so he's always... Uh, he's, he's camouflaged. He's camouflaged, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's always got the war paint on. He looks like Schwarzenegger in Predator. He's just in the camo in the fucking bush, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's He's just always on there. But yeah, he wanted to go kill Trudeau. Uh, uh, his intention was to kill Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Instead, he drove to Hope, British Columbia, with the thoughts of committing a mass shooting at Simon Fraser University, where he was enrolled. Or on the Lion's Gate Bridge. I don't Did know. Did he have a manifesto of any sort? Well, uh, I'm not certain, but ultimately he decided to turn himself into Vancouver police, uh, and then he admitted to uh, the the murder of his mother. Oh, oh, murder! Since second degree murder comes with an automatic life sentence in Canada, the question was how long should this 14 year old have to wait before applying for parole? Because he's ineligible. I think. Yeah, I think there's. I read somewhere that he said that. He uh, was doing this shooting spree potentially to protest people's mistreatment of Adam Adam Levine. (laughs) (laughs) Trudeau, I I mean, he probably has a lot of people out there that want to murder him after the last... Do you ever just thank your lucky stars that you got out of that godforsaken place before this I do, yeah. I mean, it must have been bananas. Do you have family out there? It still is. Really? Yes. Like, they're still doing lockdowns? Yes. I, I mean, not total like lockdowns but still lots of places have limited seating like it's it's still uh you know masks everywhere oh it's, my lord yeah, i thought here was coming down a bit bad but it's like canada would be like if you know like if portland was a country right now sure yeah or uh, i mean look at australia too it's the same business but it's like i thought california was never gonna get better but it's fine now and then uh, even like biden came out he's like covid's over and everyone's like, sorry, right, good see if he said it. Dude, that bus bumps so many people out that they're whole, you know, people have like blogs about how to stay safe in COVID. Oh, like, sure. There's, it's a whole cottage industry. It is, yes, you know, exactly. Being a COVID guy, you know what I yeah. mean? And now they're like, that whole thing's wrapped up. And they're just like, oh, but I'm going to be like a flu guy. <gasps> what do I got to like, go back to? <laughs> wait, I just have like a whole, now I have like a, a YouTube channel about how to not get like a cold. It's so true. There are a faction of people that just didn't want this to end ever. They're like, thank God, finally, everyone's down to my level of never leaving the house. Of course. It's like, yeah, and now they're, when Biden said it was over, you, you could see like people's brains melt. Yeah. It was wild. I, I even, I can't believe he said it. I was like, well, he said it's over. So when Uber's like, where's your mask? I'm going to be like, Biden said it's done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know dude, what I dude, mean? <laughs> even your guy. Yeah. I, I've never seen, I don't think ever in my lifetime, seen uh, the level of people hyped up about politics as much as how much a lot of people don't like Justin Trudeau. I've never, I feel like I've in never Canada, seen yeah. people care this much. It's like it's turned into, I mean, I thought that here in like, you know, with Trump, obviously. Yeah, but America is always like that. Yeah, we well, it's usually seasonal. It's like football season. It's like, oh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's politics time. Every oh, we're four mad years. now? Yeah, but now it's like sustaining. And you're right. Like, I've never even thought about Canada as being a political place. And nowadays with Trudeau, and he's been prime minister, I want to say, since I was like, you know, since like Obama was president, right? I mean. I think he's done, a, yeah, nine years. Do they have a maybe. limit? No. And, and is he's like, what, the Labor Party or something? What is... No, it's just the liberals. Oh, he's li- that's what they call it? Yeah. And then the other side is what? The conservatives? Uh, progressive conservatives, yeah. Progressive conservatives. Interesting. I then, I was there, a- that, then there's like a NDP, which is like a Bernie Sanders party, basically. Interesting. That's wild. I thought, I, I mean, it is crazy to hear that Canada is getting like, there's protests and there's all this stuff. And you're like, wow, I thought Canada was just ch- like, what? We have a prime minister? Who cares? Do you still, I mean, the queen died where you said? That was a huge loss for me. Yeah, it was yeah. a big. You guys, I mean, is she still on the money? Cried for days. They, I think that the, I don't think they do anything, right? It's the Queen, right? But from my understanding, a bunch of countries essentially just pay a fee every year, sure, to be part of this Commonwealth. And I think part of your Commonwealth package means like 
Once every couple of years, they come and do a parade, waving at everybody. Sure. You have them on the money. Um, I so, guess it would be protection, but I'm not exactly sure what, who the British people think they could protect. Yeah, what are they protecting? <laughs> Canada's probably protecting them more at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what? So now do they change the money? No, mainly they farm out the little boys, and they. Come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need a new uh, source of boys. Yeah, they're they're pretty. <laughs> a big part of what the monarchy does is get they're get involved in the underground boy trafficking. Yeah, 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 that's huge for them. That's a big part of that's a big prong in there. <laughs> yeah, but no, I mean the queen is on the money. So now does Charles go on the money? The, I think that'll probably take a while. He'll but die I, before that even happens. But I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> but I yes. this king's not lasting long. That has to happen. You know what's <laughs> so funny though in Canada? So because of politics stuff, basically, a lot of people are not they they kind of say that the you know monarchy is bad because of colonialism and people hate it, right? They sure, have, yeah. You know, whatever they see it as like a evil, right? Um, but also. It is, they all, Canada still is part of the monarchy. So they basically did like a national holiday. But at the same time, like Justin Trudeau doesn't want to like act, be like pro uh, monarchy. Yeah. yeah. Because he wants to say all this, the kind of like hey, Alexandria or Quasi or Cortez yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of stuff you're supposed to say, right? So they made it. They said teachers shouldn't talk about the monarchy because it's like triggering to students. <laughs> so they have a national holiday, but the <laughs> teachers aren't allowed to talk about why. <laughs> and that's like not, I'm not kidding. That's so fucking weird. Yeah, because they're on the one thing, they're just like, you know, making these rules like, you know, uh, we don't want teachers to say those words. But they're like on the real side, like the adult side of the government's like, yeah, but we are actually doing this holiday still for the queen. Yeah. Like we are part of the com- whether or not like you want to pretend you're not happy about it, we are a part of this thing and That's it's so like a big deal. Weird. Yeah, yeah, so they basically are like the kids are like why do we have a holiday and they're like shh, shh. Well, um, mm, I, e, <laughs> they do a lot of the, oh, yeah. <laughs> golly, that's so fucking bizarre. It's such a wacky scenario, dude. What does that say? Hey, Canada isn't required to change the money after Queen Elizabeth's death. Well, they're not required, but should they? Charles has got to get something out of this, you know? It's been, he waited so long for mummy to die. Now he's not, he can't even, he's too old to even reap the rewards of being a king. I know. Imagine... You know, he probably had so many like visions of of going out to bars and going out oh. to, you know, he was gonna go out to the area being like pretty sick that I'm the king, right? I'm the fucking king. Yeah, I'm actually the king. Uh, telling other people on the bus, like, <laughs> well, like his mother was queen when she was like a teenager, and he had to wait till he's like a geriatric old man. That's got to be such a. At some point, I would have been like, she's never gonna die. I would have been just stewing every night. Did you hear the routines that he has, apparently? Oh, yes. He has someone that puts his toothpaste on his toothbrush for One him. inch. <laughs> one inch of toothpaste on his toothbrush. He has somebody like, I don't know. It's basically he has someone all the way to the point of like wiping his ass, which if I was a king, yeah, wipe my fucking ass. I would live like Caligula. You know, he's got that horse-faced lady, Camilla, and uh, he was in love with her or whatever, and so be it. But like, I would just be like, you know. We're going back to the olden times. I'm fucking wives on their wedding day if I want to. You know what I'm saying? Cult leadership. Yeah, like he's the king for Christ's Hello, sake. Hello, I'm uh, here for... Uh, did, does, do you have any, does anyone here have any objections? The king does. <laughs> no, it's like What's the your objection? Honor. I'd like my taste first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're bringing that Braveheart shit back. Um, uh, what is it called? Noka... Prima Nocta. Prima Nocta. Thank you there, right, Rob. So, so I'm a... Now that I'm king at 75 years old, I will be announcing the pussy tax. <laughs> yeah. where the, the, king, the king gets a taste of every, yeah. of every birthing aged woman that uh, plans to wed another man. The moment she bleeds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> if it bleeds, it leads, is the new... <laughs> we have a... Uh, I wanted to give get your take on some sports things here real quick so let's get to the sports shall we this one's for the fellas the chicago bears fans Ooh. it's for the fellas so this guy it's a good one his wife uh or not wife but his girl is confronting him after He's a Bears fan. The Bears had just lost, uh, and she is videoing him. So let's take a look at it. 
Look at him. Just stupid. <laughs> Like, why you, are they running on you, the field this still time? Is like, you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Is you crying? Go on, leave me alone. You know I'm watching the game. No, I'm not crying. I told you they was finna lose. I don't know why you acting like this. Why is you talking about my business? Why is you talking about my business? But they you know? down bad with team points. They cheated, though. They cheated. They cheated. They cheated. We would have won. They cheated. I you not hot with all this stuff on? Yeah. Hey man, why you come in? You, I told you, don't. When they lose, don't talk to me for the rest of the week. Why is you bothering me? <laughs> Dang. You, whoa, what about the wristbands? You act like they finna throw you in a game to save the last couple of points for you. Would you leave me alone? Would you leave me alone? You don't even cry for me like this. I only know you for two months. This has been my team for 22 years. <laughs> yeah. Win, lose, or draw. This one I'm at. Get out. Get out. I don't even want you here. What? what? Because, uh, I know you. I know you. Just I know you. Get out. Go off, get King. Out, they real. need to recruit you if it's this serious. Get out. For real. Get I'm on out. the team. I'm with the team. Get out. Come on. I don't know. Come on. All right. Okay. Go off, King. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah. I think that's like a comedy video, though, right? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, maybe it is now that you now that you say it. But I mean, that was pretty good acting. If it is, I mean, that guy. I've been there, dude. I've been that guy. Yeah, I've been that guy a lot. Not with a girl around ever. Bitch, <laughs> bitches be nagging, huh? <laughs> that, or that's you with your mom? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> mom, I'm watching my teams, mom. Oh, my mom would actually be there standing with me. She cares as much about the football team that I love as much as I do. So that's a there great is that. that. The, yeah, that's a funny like household dynamic. Like, yeah, your mom like f just having a f shit fit because the Jets didn't cover the spread. Dude, <laughs> if the Bills lose, it's like it's a dark cloud over the city. But households, yeah, I mean like children probably get beat more when the Bills lose. Yeah, uh, you know there was a dark twenty years there where we were forged from fire, where we would lose you know probably ten times a season, and so that was a lot of slappings for a lot of children. In Buffalo area. You That's know? where Buffalo Bill actually came from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Buffalo 66, very uh, very based off of football at the end of the day. Yeah, those tailgates are a lot sadder after a, a loss. You know who else was upset? There, The Bills did just lose yesterday, and uh, it was a tough game. Offensive coordinator Ken Dorsey, though, is a true psychopath. And people are pointing to this video as a bad look. I think it's the energy that I want out of my offensive coordinator. Here it is right here. Let's see if uh, we can make it big for Ryan. We don't need the sound necessarily. I, th I don't really care. We can have the sound, but there really isn't anything to hear. Play it again. So the Bills have just lost. There's offensive coordinator Ken Dorsey just freaking out and throwing shit around. <laughs> and they're like, all right, cover the camera. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> nah, cover the camera. <laughs> this guy covers the camera right here. This is great. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> they're on him on television i love it's that passionate energy. about his job yeah exactly if you're a player you, you would run through a wall for that fucking guy now at this point you know what i'm saying like i people are like this is gonna haunt him this is gonna be a gift for the rest of his career it's like who cares well that'd be a gift but the gift is low-key like this guy's kind of cool though. it's kind of badass right yeah there's all these kyle that's Brandt, not embarrassing right kyle brant's this guy on uh good morning football or it's something like that on the NFL network. And Bills fans love this guy because he's always like, go Bills, or blah, blah, blah. And so Bills fans are like adopted this guy. And he made a take where he was like, this is going to haunt his career. It's a a blemish. It's oh, like, fuck off, you shut nerd. Up. Like, what a nerd take. People are over that corporate nerd shit right now. They like I'm a so real, they're like a real ass motherfucker a little. I like this too because now this means like next year when they're, other teams are looking for head coaches. They might not look at this guy because he's such a psychopath. Like in his press conference, he even admits he's like, am I a psychopath? Yeah, I'm a pretty big psychopath. <laughs> 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 and there's like been footage of like when uh, during training camp, somebody fucked up and there was like footage of him just like throwing shit out around on the sidelines. They're like, we got to put him up in the in the booth. We can't have him down here <laughs> on the sidelines. So I appreciate that type it's of It's almost like a, a throwback to the old days when they, yeah. you know, a man could have a, a public meltdown and, and break, you know, punch through drywall without being called a Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What happened to those days where you could just bash your, I, I used to work put with a, a guy. Yeah. You just put a poster up over top of it. Like nothing <laughs> happened and go about your business. I used to work with a guy. Shout out. Jim Jacka, he was a uh, drywall puncher. He was an executive producer on this on the Shren Reagan show. Still is. 
And I when I worked, I mean, he's calmed down quite a bit in his older age. But w- back in the day, he used to get pissed. He'd punch his fist through something, and it was like always like. But I was, you know, I've I'm very passive, and like I don't get too worked up like that. So we had we had a good working dynamic where I'd be like, oh, you know, then I'd handle it or whatever. When I let let Jim have a minute, <laughs> you know, and it's good I'd to be condescending up. when someone's having a meltdown like that. <laughs> you know, what I mean? like, all right, you done doing your little meltdown? I here? would hope it wasn't condescending, but I would I would definitely like you know, other people would get frightened, and then I'd go pacify them while he you go, okay. raged out. You you have a piece of drywall ready for him? Like here you go, <laughs> yeah. take do your little drywall punches. It would have been smart to have like a designated punching wall for him. <laughs> Would have saved a lot of, uh, you know, time. the Beyond Meat CEO. Uh, he got in like a, oh, yeah, you, I don't know, yeah. If you talked yeah. about it already, but, I haven't talked about it. But actually, he but... like the the CEO of Beyond Meat, like basically got in a fight, uh, like a road rage yes. fight, and then he punched through the guy's window. <laughs> yeah. Then they got in a fight. And he bit his fucking nose off. But yeah. to me, the punching through the window is so that's incredible. Badass, yo, that's crazy. That's the craziest <laughs> shit to punch through a car. <laughs> window <laughs> i mean what's in that beyond meat i made me start wanting to eat it to be yeah. quite honest with you. just makes your fucking knuckles tough <laughs> fuck man that would have been wild well dude please plug everything i don't I, I feel bad that we i didn't have you plug in the beginning i feel very bad about that please plug whatever you want oh nice dude um, yeah so the main thing is the boys cast with Ryan Long, yeah. but Great I'm on show. tour. So you if, had Michaela Peterson recently, right? Uh no, I did her thing. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, yeah. That's but cool. if anyone's come, if anyone's uh, in America, well, they are probably mostly in America. But I am, I'm just uh, coming to Cleveland next weekend. Hell yeah! Two shows in Chicago, Cincinnati, Columbus, Charlotte, Greensboro, Raleigh, Austin, Detroit, Portland, Phoenix, Plano. Toronto, Balt- Baltimore, and Buffalo. So I am going to Buffalo. Hell yeah, Buffalo. Let's I think go. I'm doing the, what's the club? Helium. Helium. That's yeah. I'm doing Helium, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. But no, I'm big Is that your first so. time? Yeah, I've never been there. Oh, wild. It's, uh, I mean, we're basically Canada. If, you, if you're looking at American cities that are, <laughs> I mean, we love hockey, curling. People go curling on the weekends. Yeah. A lot of my friends used to go there. And I, I a lot of comedians I knew used to go to the Buffalo Club sometimes. Yeah. And then my buddy who's black went to uh, open for Ari Spears and he showed up and he sent him home because yeah. he didn't want any black openers. I probably got that weekend because I used to follow <laughs> Ari Spears around when he'd fire a black opener. I did it. <laughs> that's that's Honestly, so funny to dude, me. Dude, uh, it was like clockwork. There was one summer I opened for him 10 times because he fired... Uh, Yo, is there anything funnier than like firing your black opener and then going on stage being like, huh, the only black comic on the show? Huh? Yeah, right. That's what they go, do. Hey. That's the reason they do it. Like, oh, they got all these white guys up here. Yeah. Oh, no, these motherfuckers got honkies opening for me. Yeah, like, exactly. On your demand so yeah. you can do <laughs> yeah. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. And then like when you see somebody be like, there's no people of color on this lineup, you're like, Guess who probably wanted it that way? The person of color that's on. Totally. You know what I mean? I mean, imagine, yeah, just imagine like me having like four girls open for me and then getting on stage and being like, why the fuck am I got four girl open? And you, What's this, chick night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you just what, do, are we like, all synced up? Do 10 minutes of yeah, like, yeah. Well, you're all these chick After openers. you deliberately demanded it. <laughs> it's great. It's like one of the craziest things I've heard. Yeah, it's, it's. Uh, or just bring your own opener, like if it's so important. He to you. started doing that now, actually, as a matter of fact. But uh, there was a. A wonderful summer there where I was making scraps of money by and then the other thing was he would uh he would go do uh do five minutes and you're like all right <laughs> I'm getting paid the same to do five minutes as opposed go up to there. like 25 as a, yeah it was bananas and then like you, I'm like I'm getting paid the same anyways I don't fucking care and I'll never forget one time I've told this story on someone's podcast but he asked me if he could uh, bum a cigarette for me and I said sure and I opened my pack of cigarettes he took the whole pack Stop it. I swear to God. And then he also was smoking in the green room, and I had a Red Bull, you know, like, that I was sitting there Ashed drinking. in it? Dude. Come puts on. Puts a cigarette, full, just puts a cigarette out in the Red Bull. I don't notice it. I'm blind. I go... Oh, like, no. Like, dude, it was... I almost puked my friends laughing at me in the fucking green room. He's like, you didn't see him put that cigarette in there? I'm like, no, dude. I'm blind. In my full Red Bull, bro? Come on. My own cigarettes, too? As a poor middle opening for him? But nevertheless, he was a nightmare. That is funny that you brought that up. <laughs> Everyone has the crazy stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, dude. But uh, thank you so much for coming. I, I want to tell everybody that this week, big shows, Ontario Improv, and then Yuma, Arizona at the Crest with Chase O'Donnell. 
We're going to have a blast down there on the 30th. Uh, the Ontario Improv is the 29th, the night before. So please come out. That's Thursday and Friday, October 6th. going to be at Oxnard Levity Live. And I'll have more announced in the next week or two. I can't wait to let you know about it. Go over to Instagram at Josh underscore Potter. Twitter at J underscore Potter. And please, you know, rate, review, subscribe. All the things that uh, if you haven't done them already, go do them. And if you did them already, do them again. Otherwise, we will see you next Tuesday here inside the Roach Motel on The Josh Potter Show.